So when people think about genetic testing, um, there are actually many different kinds of testing that can be done that qualify as genetic testing. And some forms of genetic testing involve something like an ultrasound, where we're looking for a pattern of findings on the ultrasound that might make us able to diagnose a certain genetic condition. Um, genetic testing often involves looking at our genes, and that might mean our chromosomes or our individual genes um, on a DNA level. So we all have 46 chromosomes, and each chromosome includes thousands of genes. So when people have a test like an amniocentesis that patients are usually familiar with, on a routine patient, we would look at the chromosomes and say, is there an extra chromosome? Is there a missing chromosome? And those things cause conditions like Down syndrome, which is caused by an extra chromosome. But if we're thinking about a, more specific, a different kind of genetic disease where we're looking at an individual gene, then that's not found on a routine amniocentesis. Then you have to know what gene you're looking for and do the test in a laboratory that knows how to look for that specific gene. So for example, things like cystic fibrosis or Tay-Sachs disease, you wouldn't find that on a routine amniocentesis. You would only find it if you say, we're worried about this disease, so we want to look for this gene. And there are lots, there's lots of exciting research going on looking at ways to scan for lots of genetic defects on one sample, but at the moment we really look at each gene individually. So we can't look at, say, gee, let's look at hundreds of genes in this person, although that's what you read in Time magazine, we're, we aren't there yet. We look at other people in the family that may have conditions that may not seem related, but actually maybe there's some underlying cause in the family that might help us understand what's happening in your, with your baby. Um, and we then use that family history and other information to decide, are there more tests that we should do? Is there something else we can do to tell you what's the likely outcome going to be for this, for this pregnancy? And we also um, concern ourselves with things like, is there a chance this could happen again? Um, is there something else we could do to figure out, is there a chance whether this could happen again? Um, and the other thing that we, we all think is important, but that I particularly concern myself with is really the big picture of the prognosis or outcome. So maybe there's a specific problem that the surgeons say, oh, we can fix this problem. This is a minor problem, the operation takes an hour. But the thing that I look at is, well, is this part of a bigger problem? And maybe the birth defect is fixable, but maybe there are other things that go along with it that wouldn't be fixable or that would need other attention.